Here are some games that you should buy on the Wii U eShop before it closes down at the end of this month. All right, so the first one is called Affordable Space Adventure. It's pretty much like an eerie exploration type of game where you're controlling a ship in outer space on a different planet. You can explore with your friends. Your friends can control like different parts of the ship using the gamepad or other controllers. It's pretty cool. You could also play this game alone. The gamepad is pretty much like a display screen that shows the settings and like engine controls for the ship. It's a really cool in-depth puzzle adventure game. You're on a different planet, you find and collect different alien artifacts, and you try not to die, you have to avoid like lasers and weapons and other obstacles and stuff. When you die, you could pretty much start back like where you died, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the game involves a lot of trial and error to figure out how to get past some of these like different obstacles. So this is definitely a really good challenging game that you could spend a lot of time on and explore a lot of new paths in different areas. It's also from a small game developer, so might as well show some love to them. The second game is Tengami, and this is an adventure game that takes place in a pop-up book, which I've never even heard or seen a game that's like this, so it's really creative and very unique, one of a kind. It's definitely inspired by Japanese culture, has really awesome music and art style. The art style is probably the coolest part about this game. You have to go through the world with the quest to revive the cherry blossom tree, so that's pretty much the main goal of this game. You can interact with a lot of different puzzles and other things in the world, which is really neat. It's a really peaceful game, and it really makes you want to explore like every single thing so you can see all the art unfold and everything from the book and the different pages it's definitely a game where you could appreciate the in-depth like designs and the effort that's been put into such a small game like this from a small developer it's a slow paced game but that's definitely what it's meant to be and i think this is a game that a lot of people can really thoroughly enjoy Next up, we got Scram Kitty and his buddy on rails. So this is definitely a weird name for a game, but it's a really cool game that kind of reminds me of like Sonic in a way, like the way that you just kind of travel fast sideways. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it definitely reminds me of Sonic. So basically, so basically your cat and its friends have been kidnapped by mice in space and you have to save them. So you are pretty much the person that saves all these cats. After every single level, you save one more cat. There's a ton of different directions you can go through different paths and tunnels. And the way you move is with a vehicle that pretty much attaches to anything. So as you can see, like in the gameplay, it's attaching to all the walls and the floors and everything in the ceiling. Every level you get different weapons to use and attack with. There's a lot of different controls for your different attacks and everything. I think it's a really cool game. It's definitely a weird kind of game, but you can have a lot of fun with this and spend some time with it. Next up, we got a sequel to a community favorite, which is Pushmo World, which if you guys are familiar with Pushmo or Shretchmo from the 3DS eShop, this is pretty much the same game. It's the sequel to the 3DS game. If you've never heard of this game, it's basically a giant puzzle where you pull and push blocks out or in or whatever you gotta do whatever you gotta do to get to the very top and save your friends that are in the game there's about 250 different levels you can also make your own levels and i think find other levels that the community has also made so it's pretty much endless levels to complete on this game this is a series that has been loved by just so many people and it's going to be kind of sad to see what happens with the Pushmo and Stretchmo series after the eShop closes because you can't buy these games anywhere else you can't buy them physically so I don't know if they're ever going to add them to the Switch. It'd be kind of nice if they did, but of course you can still get these games if you have a modded like 3DS, but not everyone's going to do that. So I would definitely recommend the Pushmo series. It's a great game. It's really fun. It's a great game to play at nighttime too, before you go to bed. I don't know why it just is, but great game to play right here, Pushmo World. The next game is pronounced Knit or Knight Underground. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this game, but it's pretty much from the same team that made Affordable Space Adventures, so it's a similar type of exploration game. You can explore over 1,800 different rooms slash areas. It's definitely inspired kind of by Metroid, like a lot of inspired type of gameplay style, if that makes sense. So if you like Metroid, you're probably going to like this game. It's split into three different chapters, and you can choose what chapter you want to play from the start which is pretty cool so you don't have to like beat chapter one to go into chapter two. Each chapter has its own unique story to tell. This game also does have cutscenes to tell its story. Overall, it's a pretty cool strategy game. It definitely involves a lot of patience and I feel like if you like these kind of side scroller type of games like this, you would really enjoy this game. I think this is also on Steam in case you have a PC, but it's only available I'm pretty sure on the Wii U eShop and Steam. So pretty cool game, definitely check it out. 
So there are some eShop exclusive games that you should buy for the Wii U. None of these games you could actually buy physically. They're only on the Wii U eShop. So it's pretty cool. Definitely gives you a reason to download some games before the eShop closes forever. Make sure to subscribe and like the video guys if you like this content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.